we are going to discuss about a brand new addition to the Cretyle family called Cretyle Smart Switch. Right? Till now, what you could do with Cretyles is basically take the Cretyles, connect them to each other, right? And do some local controls. For example, I put th push this push button and the LED connected to the Cretyle uh, switches on, right? Or gets controlled. You can remove the LED, connect the buzzer, or maybe connect a motor, right? Uh, however, now you have capability to control an appliance with the help of the Cretyles, right? So whatever appliance you connect it to this uh, 5 amp socket will get controlled with the help of uh, Cretyles. So this is one setup. I have connected my table lamp. Here is my table lamp and I have connected that to the Cretyle smart switch. I have taken us uh, to the input of the smart switch. I have connected a simple push button, right? There's a battery power supply uh, given to the push button. So uh, the, the Cretyle smart switch is already connected to 240 volts, right? So it's like an extension box or extension cable for you, right? So this gets 240 volt and this gets controlled by whatever is connected to the with the help of Cretyles. So this box is already on, right? And let's switch on the battery, push the push button. And when I push it, my table lamp gets switched on. Let's see again. Push, switches on. Push, switches on. This is another setup wherein I have connected the motion sensor to the battery and we'll connect this input to the motion sensor, right? And with the help of this motion, we want to control the smart switch. You know that motion sensor takes about a minute or two to start functioning correctly. Because I have connected it already two minutes back, it should work immediately as soon as I connect. So moment I connect, it detects my motion and then the you know table lamp switches on, right? Now let's uh, try to hide this motion with the help of a cover, right? Let me put a cover here. Okay, it could toggle a bit. Uh, if you look at it, th th it's st still taking the power from the battery. Uh, I'll just uh, move the towel a bit to show you. Right? So it's still taking the power, but the motion is completely obstructed by the cover. And hence, our table lamp is switched off because the input going to the Cretyle switch or Cretyle smart switch switches off because there's no motion detected. Now, moment I remove this cover, it would immediately detect the motion around it because we are standing and moving our hands here and the table lamp switches on. So that's how you can, you know, control the light with the help of motion sensor. We have seen that sometimes the light flickers. Um, let's say for a while we stop moving, um, it immediately switches off. So just in case you want to avoid that, you can use this pulse delay. Connect it after the motion sensor and uh, put the pulse delay in the pulse mode, right? And you know use some time setting. So the the way this is going to work is that moment the motion gets detected for that much amount of time, the input uh, to the Cretyle smart switch will continue to remain on. You can see that it has started counting down the moment it has detected the motion. I'm hiding it now. Even if I hide it because the countdown is still going on, until that much duration, the, the lamp will continue to remain on, right? Only after that much of delay, uh, when it finishes, 
the lamp will switch off if there is no motion. If there is motion, it will again continue to remain on for that long duration. Right? This is the third demonstration wherein we are using some remote controls. We want to control the light remotely. So let's say you have taken the motion sensor and you want to put in some other part of the home. right? You can connect it to a transmitter and then the smart switch can be connected to the receiver right and these two items can be you know 10 to 15 feet apart right depending on how your house is structured right so now you can control the light with a remote motion right again you can control anything and everything i have just can control the table lamp but you can choose to connect anything thank you